lesson, we're going to discuss ChatGPT4 using Trading Bro and Savvy Trader AI. These are two trading tools that can help you maximize finding information on companies in order to make the best moves with your trades. Disclaimer, it's not going to make your trades for you. It's not quite a trading bot, but it does synthesize and streamline the process of finding the information you need to make successful trades. We won't be diving in to a full trading course that's too much for this course at a time, but I will absolutely show you how to maximize these tools for your benefit. So the first prompt I've used today is what are the best ways to use these two apps combined? Give me an organized, concise layout and the answer for most effective results. And I will say the reason that I use Trading Bro and Savvy Trader AI together is because they do such similar things, but they have a slight overlap in the timeline and the information they can access. So it's best to use them together. Now, here's a concise layout on how I can effectively use this. And the coolest thing about this is that you don't actually have to break down and type an answer to each one of these steps. And I'm going to show you exactly what I mean when we move forward. I said that I would like to predict some likely opening moves from the NASDAQ 100 tomorrow in the morning. Give me the resources to make an informed decision. Include news, history, recent data, and your suggestions as well. I dropped this in just so you could understand and comprehend the limitations of this tool so that we can move forward and know how to use it properly. Now it tells me we need to know a lot of information in order to predict a move for the NASDAQ 100 tomorrow in the rising. It says, unfortunately, it can't retrieve too much historical data. Now, it did tell me that the period that it could access was June 1st to June 29th. However, it does also give me the resources that I need to access more information. Although it doesn't give me this historical data, it does outline the importance of it. It attempted to reach recent news from the FinTorch Trading Assistant but it says that there was no recent news available. So it gives me other resources for finding significant news. Market sentiment. And now it's telling me about the market sentiment and it's telling me that I can use social media and financial tools and news outlets to discover all this information. To sum it up, it couldn't exactly help me make this move in the way that I asked. So in turn, I had to ask, another way that would still allow me to get the information I need. Now, we're getting a little closer, and here's another example that shows the parameters of these two tools together. When is the next time I could begin to expect the NASDAQ 100 to move to 16,000? The coolest thing about this is it says predicting the exact time when the NASDAQ 100 will reach a specific level such as 16,000 is challenging due to the number of variables involved. Stock market movements are influenced by a wide range of factors, including economic indicators, corporate earnings, geopolitical event, and market sentiment. However, you can make an informed estimate based on the following. And it gives me the outlines of what I need to look up. Now, I've gotten a whole bunch of steps, but not any direct answers to assist me on making a financial trade. That's because that's not what this tool is for. This tool is to help you find information on specific companies so you can utilize your own knowledge or the knowledge of an assistant to help you make a well-informed trade. I've told it to follow the 12 steps you listed above and give me information on the top 10 stocks that affect the NASDAQ so I can make a clear and better deformed decision about my trading. Look at how many times it's referenced trading, bro. I think this is absolutely awesome. And here's what it came out with. It's gathered some information on the top 10 stocks that have a significant impact on the NASDAQ. It's telling me Apple all the way down to Google, which is now known as Alphabet. So just a brief little moment. The reason that these stocks are important is because the NASDAQ is made up of multiple stocks. However, these have the most weight with it. So this does allow me to move forward and make a better decision. It's giving me the current price of Apple and their market cap. It's giving me the current price for Microsoft, Amazon, Facebook, and Alphabet. This is absolutely awesome because it also includes the social media sentiment, which changes from time to time and absolutely gears what buyers and sellers in the market are doing. 
Now that I've got the information on what affects the NASDAQ, which I also could have asked for, it seems that Apple is the heaviest hitter in the stocks that manipulate, control, and affect the NASDAQ 100. So I've told it to dive in deeper and bring me the news and updates of Apple as well as their quarterly expectations for the next quarter. And here's what it does. It gives me Apple Q2 2023 earnings calls and highlights, and it gives me Apple's Q2 2023 future outlook. Beyond that, it says Apple's expansion into India, Apple's environmental initiative, and Apple's capital return program. Now, if you're a trader and you're looking at trading Apple and you want to make a long-term investment, using these tools will absolutely help me make a healthy decision because I can see the capital return program, environmental initiative, and expansion, and it's telling me the quarterly earnings. If I were to ask for the previous ones, it's going to give me that information as well. And this allows me to feel safe making a long trade on a popular stock such as Apple.com instead of simply guessing and making a 50-50 toss-up. I've decided to give ChatGPT4 and these two AI plugins a more specific task. These are going to look deeper into what it can do with assisting me on making a successful trade instead of finding the information to make that trade. Now, I said I would like to invest and make $100 on a 1,000 pip move on Bitcoin. What account size, leverage, and lot sizes can you recommend as examples? So first, it starts by defining a pip, which in Bitcoin trading, a pip is a unit of measurement for price movement. The value of one pip calculated on the basis of this current rate of Bitcoin for one pip move is the change in the value of 0.001 USD. It explains lot size, it explains leveraging, and below it has some calculations. So it's telling me if I want to make $100 on a 1,000 pip move, that means I want to make 10 cents every pip. Now, it gives me a very important disclaimer. As for leverage, it would depend on your risk tolerance for the policies of your broker. A higher leverage will allow you to open this trade with a smaller account size, but it also increases the risk. For example, with a leverage of 1 to 10, you would need an account size of at least 1 10 of the trade size in USD. In this case, that would be 10 US dollars. So, moving forward, I gave it a little bit more information. I'm seeking with a 3% risk size to my account, and I'm looking to see if such a move is possible to make this week. Now it's telling me to calculate the risk size of my account, I need to know the exact amount my trading is. However, let's assume that you have $10,000 in your trading account and you're willing to risk 3% of your account on a trade. This means you're going to risk $300 on this trade. And that's exactly what I wanted to know. I wanted to know what the risks were based off of certain parameters and if this was a good trade to make or not. It doesn't give me the financial advice and it doesn't tell me to make a trade. However, it helps me comprehend that I'm risking $300 with these exampled lot sizes, trading account sizes, and the risk that I've decided to take. So moving forward, considering that I asked it to see if it was possible to make such a move this week, it does tell me that it's hard to say without more information. It tells me that it's highly volatile. It tells me that price can move significantly. And to please note that a lot of these calculations are oversimplified. So I want to say that I wouldn't use these tools to make 100% sure trades. Use them to your advantage to gain information faster and more consolidated. Normally, this could take up to an hour to more than one hour just going through all the different websites to find the news. And now you can type in specific companies and ask for specific information to help you maximize on your results.